Hey y'all, what y'all doing? Happy Wednesday. Today we are back in my girl's bedroom, but this time we are going to be working on their closet. If you've been here a good minute, then you know the closet is my second daughter's bedroom. We worked in here all day long, up until like 8 o'clock that night. It was so tedious. She just has a lot of little things that I had to find a home for. It took a long time. Um, she didn't get rid of a lot of things to donate, which is fine, but she did get rid of a bunch of her drawings that she no longer wanted to hold on to, and she got rid of so much that she cleared out one bag, which is amazing for her. <laughs> um, but we, I took everything off of that top shelf, wiped it down, took everything off the top of her dresser, wiped it down. We went through all of her dresser drawers. I refolded all of her blankets right here in the corner. I vacuumed really good in there. Because it is such a small space and she has so much in there, my goal was to minimize the stuff that was in there so it would make it easier for her to clean, such as dusting and vacuuming, because there was a lot of dust in here. And she's not able to get in there and clean everything like it needs to be clean because of the, all the stuff that's in there. So, again, my main goal was to minimize the stuff that she had. Up here on the top shelf, that burgundy bag is the bag that she went through and was able to eliminate. Um, the book bag that's beside, that is beside it to the left is a book bag full of more drawings and mostly sketchbooks that are full we specifically made that book bag mostly for sketchbooks and then she has a zip up binder that we found that we put all of her loose leaf drawings in by going through these two bags we were able to find a ton of blank notebook paper printer paper and blank sketchbooks that she didn't even know she had which we will eventually put in the bottom drawer of her dresser just so she can have a space for all of her sketchbooks, all of her pencils, and everything like that. I hear you breathe, that healthy breath. I know it's all of you that I get. One bedroom flat, I lock the door and put that photo of her on the floor. We never ask, it's getting dark, and we did everything and nothing at all. And I should leave, cause this is bad. Your hands make up for the love we don't have. The stuff that I'm taking off of this top shelf, such as these books and stuff, I did make piles in the floor beside my older daughter's bed. And me and my second daughter sat on my older daughter's bed and slowly went through everything that was up here on this top shelf. Like I said, she went through all of her drawings. She went through that box. She went through everything in that little room. Her and I sat on that bed for a good hour, I want to say, going through all of her drawings and stuff. I was there basically for moral support because I didn't want to have an influence on what she wanted to keep and what she didn't want to keep. The things that she didn't want to keep and threw away was solely her decision. Um, I didn't want to have any kind of influence on that. Also, anytime I would do something in her room, like put something back or reorganize something, I always ask for her input because this is her space and it's not built for me. It's built for her. There was a point where she was like, I am so tired of this. I need a break. And I was like, okay, go, go do whatever you need to do. Get up, shake it off, walk it off, you know, do whatever you got to do. You have to take time with doing a big project like this because if you don't, you're just going to wear yourself out mentally and you're, you're going to get burned out and then you're going to lose motivation and then you're going to stop and then you're not going to want to finish it. And it's just a big old cycle. So be easy on yourself, take your time, give yourself enough breaks so you don't get burnt out.
So there are a couple of different areas in her room that she has books. So up here on this top shelf, this stack of books are books from her childhood that she really wanted to hold on to. We put those up where she doesn't really grab for those very often. And the ones that she reads more often than not are down there on top of her dresser in better reach for her. The last time that I cleaned her room, I made this hanging basket. I got all of this stuff from the Dollar Tree. It's just those wire baskets and shower curtain rings that I hung up and just made a little organi organization system. And it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. The stuff that she stored in here really didn't need to be stored in there because everything was really dusty. And I do eventually hang it back up, but I hang it up differently. And the stuff that I store in there are things that could be easily cleaned. Moving on to this little corner right here, I do put this dollhouse up on that top shelf and I take that little toy box thing out of there. That toy box is full of plushies. Yes, we did go through that as well off camera. There was nothing she got rid of. She wanted to keep every single one of them, which is okay. I did put it over there at the end of the bunk bed in front of the door when you first walk into the bedroom. That way she could just have a little bit more floor space in here. This is where I found that zip up binder. She originally had two different binders, actually three different binders full of drawings. So I took them all out of those three binders and consolidated it down to this one zip up binder.
this drawer right here we took everything out uh, there were some sketchbooks in there that she had already finished that I did put in the book bag up there on that top shelf everything that we put back into here were empty sketchbooks or blank pieces of paper that she was able to draw on colored pencils charcoal pencils watercolor pencils all of those things went into this drawer I'm not here for you to blow your one only chance I'm not here to waste my time on yet another bad romance Now I got hopes for us tonight For this here thing to turn out right So from the start let's get this one thing clear You're looking at a self-made woman You should know I've got nothing for free In this life None of us can know what's coming So if you wanna be with me Baby, can't you see You gotta make room for yourself After finishing that drawer, we moved on to the next drawer up above it, which is the drawer full of Littlest Pet Shop and her chubby puppies and all of the accessories associated with those.
Moving on to the next drawer, this drawer right here is full of paint supplies, paint, um, her easel, paint brushes, anything that you can paint on are all in this drawer. She only has two drawers that she has clothing in. We did go through this drawer, actually both drawers off camera. I didn't think she wanted to be on camera doing that. But this drawer that I'm working on here are her pants. She does not like to wear shorts. So she has one less drawer than the other two girls. And then we also went through the top drawer, which is full of pajamas, underwear, and socks. Here I got carried away and really wasn't paying attention and I really forgot about the camera being there and I didn't realize that you couldn't see what I was doing but here I am taking everything off of her dresser and just wiping it down getting all of the dust off.
I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right. Now I'm moving on to the left side of her dresser down on the floor where she likes to keep all of her blankets and some of the stuffies that she likes to sleep with. I'm just going to move all of those out of the room so I can just give the floor a really good vacuum and then I'm going to refold the blankets and stack them back up in this corner.
I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already and would like to, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with your mom and them. I will see y'all Saturday. Bye.